In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I fail to do. So my fault, so my fault, so my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on our guard while the promise of entering into his rest remains, that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have reached, received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word that they heard did not profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listened. For we who believe entered into that rest, just as he has said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previous mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest, so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response, do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and known, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come, the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength. Do not forget the works of the Lord, that they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commands. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, and beca it became known that he was at home, many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. 
unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd. They opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus their, saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all offended and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Do you need to be a famous person to help? Like a celebrity or a politician? No. As simple as you are, anyone could offer help to the needy. Just like in today's gospel, where some people came to Jesus bringing him a paralytic man. Does the paralytic man promise these people something in return? What else could he possibly have? Nothing. But those men came to help. They saw Jesus' miracle, and they went home happy that the paralytic man was cured. Do you also have a genuine and selfless intentions like those men who help the paralyzed man? How many of us these days are like them? Not just helping a family member or a friend. Do you give food to those who hunger in the street? Or before, do you visit sick people at the hospital? Or simply saying, prayers for them at this pandemic moment of our lives many people needs help physically financially emotionally and spiritually what could you offer you do not have much why not say a prayer for those in dire need of it if you have extra items or foods, give them to the needy. Those people you help cannot give you something in return. But the joy in your heart is very priceless. Those people you help will also give their thanks to you in prayers. That's why today, God is asking us also to help others, most especially those who are in need. Let us follow the four men in our gospel for the day. They are willing to give their effort, their time, in order for them to help this paralytic man in our gospel today. Amen. Confident in the Lord's mercy, let us present to him our needs and petitions. For our church, may her members continue to grow in holiness and strength as we journey together to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord.
or elected leaders, may God help them in always serving with selfless wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For refugees fleeing violence or poverty, may the Lord look graciously upon them and provide them a place of welcome and respite. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our midst who are suffering great loss, may they be filled with God's consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they enjoy the eternal rest for which they strive in their life of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass the people of the Paris. We pray also our frontliners those who died just because of this pandemic, those who got this virus. We pray also our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for the speedy recovery. Moses, Tesari, Maria, McCabe, Cello, Delgado. And we pray also those who have cancer, those who are dying in this very moment. We pray also our brothers and sisters are celebrating their wedding anniversaries today, their birthdays, most especially Elsa Gonong. And we pray also those who are encountering a lot of problems in life, trials, that until now, they don't know how to solve their problem and trials. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear the prayers of your people through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed day, Lord God, the full creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. From the earth, work of human hands shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God, the full creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, God bless me, your iniquity, and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven the breaches of heaven the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sarpo was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, our nuns, our seminarians, and those who are helping our parish Corpus Christi, our volunteers in our parish. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be called your eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family with our humble heart, all together, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, my dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But and I say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
those who are not able to join us to our, to our daily masses and they're not able to receive our Lord Jesus Christ for Holy Communion, we just pray reverently the spiritual prayer communion that you can see to the screen of your TV and to your cell phone. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ended. Go and let us pray for one another.